Hello everyone. Uh, in this numerical, uh, we have uh, to basically resolve uh, the 600 pound force along two axes which are called U and B axis. Okay. Uh, we cannot directly resolve the 600 pound force into along U and B axis as, uh, uh, as we are given angle of 30 because uh, the angle between U and B axis is nine is not 90 degrees. So basically, when a problem like this arises, we have to basically uh, use a different technique. And uh, basically, we will uh, use uh, uh, we have many techniques to solve this problem. We shall try to solve this problem through technique of uh, parallelogram law of forces with this. And uh, what we will do is that we will resolve this 600 pound force along the U and B axis. Okay, so how we will do it is uh, we will say that uh, one of the components of this uh, 600 pound force is basically along U axis. Okay, we can say it is along the uh, U axis here. And uh, we can say that uh, the other component of this force Okay, so this is along the U axis. Okay, and the other component that we'll say is along the V axis. Okay, so if you look at it, this component we will say it is along the along the V axis. You can say this is along the V axis. And again, we are going to use uh, the uh, head to tail method because this 600 pound force as he's asked in the question uh, into components so it is the resultant so if we say this is uh, our head along the u axis this force component so this will be the uh, another component and we will add this component uh, through head to tail if you look at it we can add this through head to tail and you can see uh, this force uh, component will become uh, we can say uh, it will become Fu. It will become uh, we can it will become Fu. F U and this is the component that is going to become F B. Okay, and uh, we will be assuming that uh, this is our again V axis. This is our V axis. Okay, so if you want, we can basically again make a parallelogram uh, out of it. Okay, we can make a uh, parallelogram out of it. This is, uh, we can say this is going to be our FB. This is going to be our FB. And uh, This is going to be our F U F K. So if you look at it again, uh, a parallelogram is being formed here. You can see a parallelogram is being formed, and uh, if uh, you, we can basically also uh, just to make the senses more clear, uh, this is one component. This is the sense of what is called as our uh, FV, okay, and uh, it is joining up over here, okay. It is it is joining up over here. This 600 pound force. So now you can see a parallelogram is being formed, and uh, we have resolved uh, this 600 pound force along the U axis. This becomes FU, and uh, we can say that uh, the other component we have resolved along V is basically this FV is actually parallel to the V axis. We can see it is parallel to the uh, 
uh, v-axis so this is fv and we have tried to join it by the head to tail rule method and significantly if we, if we want consequently we can uh, we can uh, basically create a parallelogram out of it and uh, the only thing that is missing over here is that uh, this angle is 30 this angle is 30 we do not know this angle and we do not know this angle but if you look at it uh, this straight line if you look at it this straight line is basically a uh, the v-axis okay and if you know uh, that uh, the angle from uh, if you can say that uh, the angle from this point okay, the angle from this point uh, you can say the angle from this point to this point or uh, you can say the angle from this point to this point is basically going to be 180 the angle from this point to this point is going to be 180 so if this is 180 this angle is 30 this angle is 30 so if you subtract uh, uh, from 180 if you subtract from 180 and you minus 60 what you will get you will get 120 degrees okay so this angle from here to here is basically uh, 120 degrees okay if this angle is uh, this angle is 120 degrees. Since 120, this is 120 degrees. What is going to be this angle? Okay, so you can very easily say this angle is also going to be 120 degrees, as this angle and this angle are alternate angles. So if this in a triangle, if this is 120 degrees, this is 30 degrees, so it's 150. What is going to be this angle? what is going to be this angle okay this angle if you look at it it will be uh, 30 degrees because from 180 if you subtract 150 so you can say that this angle is going to be 30 degrees okay so the puzzle has been solved and uh, we know that this is the 600 pound force this is fu this is fv and uh, out of this parallelogram we are just taking this uh, triangle okay so now we can very easily calculate fu and fv which are along the u and the v axis okay so if you can uh, easily uh, say that we can uh, say that fu of uh, your this is your fu so if you look at it this fu Uh, using sine law we for to solve this we can use sine law using sine law we can say this fu force fu this force fu divided by what is the angle which is totally opposite to this fu it is 120 degrees so we can say fu over and don't forget you have to write sine 120 fu over sine 120 must be equal to uh, what is the 600 pound force we have the 600 pound force and again divided by what is the angle which is opposite to the 600 pound force it is sine of 30 it is sine of 30 degrees it is sine of 30 degrees so from here we can easily calculate which implies that this implies that your fu you have known all the values now your fu will be equal to if you calculate it it will be equals to one zero three nine pounds one zero three nine pounds okay now fu has been calculated okay we have very easily calculated fu now we are interested in what is going to be this fv component along the uh, v axis okay so what we will do again using sine law using using sine law using sine law we can say this component fv this component fv divided by uh, what is the angle which is opposite to fv it is going to be sine 30 sine 30 it must be equal to 
this 600 pound force 600 pound force and it is to be divided by uh, what is the angle which is opposite to this second force again it is sine of 30 so uh, what happens is that uh, these two components uh, the value of fv comes out to be again uh, they, they will get uh, we can basically sign 30 and sign 30 gets cancelled out and we get uh, fv fv comes out to be equal to 600 pounds so fv comes out to be equal to 600 pounds so again if you look at it here you have got uh, this is okay, this is your fu and uh, this is your fv okay. so it's a very unique scenario over here if you look at it uh, the only thing is that this resultant, if you look at it, the value of the resultant horizontal force is 600 pound force. Uh, but the component is uh, coming out to be 1039 pounds. That is strange. No, that is, should not be strange. The reason being is that these, uh, uh, here the axes are not at 90 degrees uh, apart. Okay, so they are basically at uh, somewhere about, if you look at the U axis, uh, and v axis are 150 degrees apart so uh, think uh, we can have an uh, component as 1039 pounds so you have to look into that uh, point of view also so in this problem basically we have learned how to resolve uh, uh, the forces the resultant force into its respective components when uh, the angle between u, uh, two, the two different axes is not 90 but it's 150 degrees uh, apart okay and uh, the you, you have two types of laws available sine law and cosine law okay so we have uh, opted to use the sine law which is more uh, easy over here in this scenario and uh, thank you very much i hope you have understood uh, this problem thanks a lot have a good day